Hey guys, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. So it is the morning of day 7. Uh, this would normally be when the Horde would show up, but like I said, we've got it out 30 days, so not a big deal. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in here that I want to sell, and if you notice, I made 250 flagstone blocks. So we're going to work on the building next door. Um, I'm making a bunch of yucca right now as well. Um, got things a bit sorted out. Uh, we've got 57... Uh, 570 uh, cobblestone rocks left over, which will allow us to upgrade 57 uh, of these to um, stone, which is great. Um, so I got the nail gun to do that with, and we got a bunch of stuff to sell. But what I want to do, I think first things first, is I want to go over to this place and clear it out. Now it's got more cobble, it's got more concrete. We've only got 50 concrete. Uh, let's just leave this on for now. Uh, we only got 50 concrete, so um, we're going to need more concrete to upgrade the building with. But I figure if we can clear this base out, uh, the trader will be open then. We'll be able to sell everything, and then we'll go over and work on uh, the new digs over here. We'll go inside first, see what we can get uh, organized, figure out where we're going to drop our land claim block. Um, we'll do that. I haven't actually made one yet, but that's easy enough. Uh, it's only like five stone or something, so it's really simple. Uh, we'll make that, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. But first things f first. Did I hear a zombie? Problem with this light being on? Is they can see me easily enough. Let's wake some up. I don't see anybody moving. Did I kill him? Oh my god, I killed him with a shovel. Mo, oh, you the door the door's over here, buddy. Dude, it, it it's right right there. Mo. 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 It's never mind. This guy, man. You got what you deserved. I mean you would have died anyway, but still. I may not have taken a headshot the other way. All right, what do we got in here? Any birds? We do. The last time I was in one of these bases, I don't remember there being any birds. I'm sure there's more. That's two down. Uh, hope it's not too dark for you guys. I'm going to turn that off. Look at you guys, just sleeping peacefully in here. Hey, Mo. Mo seems a bit testy. And a biker. But then again, Mo's always testy. That's a good look for you. Biker unicorn. Biker corn. Bike, bike horn? What'd you call him? You couldn't call him Bicorn, because that would be like... <laughs> now you can call him Bicorn. <laughs> nice horns, buddy. <laughs> now he's a Tricorn. Let's see how many we can get in his head. Uh, Quadcorn? That one broke. Come on, you gotta keep them in there, buddy. Quintcorn? No, he's still a, he's still a Quadcorn. Still, look, he ended up as a quad corn. All right, that is a good look for you, dude. Good look for him. Ah, uh, let's just do this. Don't really need the feathers, but might be able to sell them. Stay very, very quiet. Okay, nothing else in there. Waiting for the jump scare. I'm always expecting there to be a vulture back here. Let's get rid of this so we don't accidentally shoot it and blow everything up. You know what? We need to get something like this inside the other base. 
I'll have to see if I can make one of these. Should be a way to do it. Once I start getting, like, once I get the, uh... Oh, there's a vulture right there. Once I get the forge and the sawmill working... Probably the forge, most likely, for that. But if we can get those working, then, um... Ooh, something down here, too. Don't forget that. Um, then most likely we can make a, something like that. That would be kind of cool. We'll have to make it a, uh, a beer still, though. The only way to survive the apocalypse is through lots of beer. Actually, not really. I don't really drink. I don't drink at all. I don't actually drink beer. A friend of mine said, Oh, you know, just drink beer, man. It's cheaper. Because I, I, I drink the harder liquor. Or I used to. I don't drink anymore, but... Um, he's like, just drink beer, it's cheaper. And I'm like, I don't like the taste of beer, man. He's like, oh, if you just drink it, you get used to the taste. And I'm like, yeah, well, I can get used to, you know, used to drinking piss, too, but you don't see me doing that. He didn't laugh very much at that, unfortunately, but, you know, I thought it was funny. All right. Thank you, Joel. Well, thank you very much. Let's scrap this. Let's eat this. Actually, let's not use the blueberries. Uh, we want to make seeds out of them. Let's grab our, our wrench and wrench this bed apart. Get some XP and some parts. Parts is parts, man. A bit, bit of iron out of this. 37 iron, not bad. Thought I heard flapping. Don't see any flapping. All right, let's knock this out. Gonna grab, I'm just gonna, you know what, I'll loot this place and I'll show you what we get afterwards. Yeah, maybe not. I'll just loot. I'll loot while I go and just talk. I don't know, I don't know if you guys find this kind of stuff exciting. Like going through the trash and all that stuff. Looting later on. I mean, it's nice to know what you get. I mean, the whole purpose of coming here was to get shiz, but... but yeah, like I said, that, that's pretty cool looking. I'm pretty sure... Like, they should make it so that if you break these apart, you don't just get metal or whatnot. You can actually get the components. Because I know faucets and stuff um, are some of the best ways to get brass is to, to break off the sink faucets. And you just use a regular hammer or whatever to bang it, and it comes off, and you get the faucet. I thought that was really cool. However, what I'd like to see is have something similar for that kind of stuff, where if you use a wrench on it, I need some plastic later on, so let's grab some now. Um, if you use a wrench on it, um, you should be able to take those components apart. That's just my uh, suggestion if the fun pimps are watching this. Highly unlikely that they are, but if they are, it'd be nice to be able to take that kind of stuff apart. I mean, I guess most people play this game just as a zombie survival, just to build a base, see how long you can last against the zombies, but... If you're like me and just like, you know, like to just kind of play the game, live in the world, kind of do your best, you know, not just making a base, but making a home and some other stuff. Like, you know, you want to have that ability to be able to kind of do things like that. Make things look cool. Because, I mean, you got all these cool objects in the game that you can't do anything with. Love to be able to just do stuff with them. All right, let's grab this. Like, I know you can make these beds and stuff, and that's cool. And I think if you make them, they actually count as your spawn point. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that that's what happens, is they count as your spawn point. Um, which is kind of neat. And we got a purse back here. A can of tuna, let's eat that. And hopefully not get food poisoning. Grab this. And what do we got in here? Ah, eh, we're not feeling so well. Ah, eh, there's our cowboy boots. Good thing we didn't buy those, eh, for whatever, 480. Let's wear those. We're going to sell the powder boots. We don't really need them. All right, let's go to... That's the plant fibers. What else do we got here? Paper, which we can't take. That's fine. All right, let's go to the trader. Since Trader Joel's is now open. Oh, we're not feeling good. That tuna just didn't go down right. You know, the last time I ate tuna, 
Uh, we have a sub shop up here in Canada called Mr. Sub. It's a Canadian sub place. Um, and I, I prefer it over I preferred it over Subway for the longest time. For me, it's just the taste and the way they make it. Subway. Um, whenever I go into Subway, I always feel like I'm part of an assembly well, line, how do you do, friend? which is kind of weird, but it's, it's just what it feels like. Um, but when I go into Mr. Sub, it doesn't feel that way. Let's grab that shotgun around. No, I'm still here, buddy. I just need to pick up the shotgun around. You decide to throw on the floor rather than hold for me. Gonna sell this stuff off. We're not gonna get much for it, but we're gonna get rid of it because we don't need it in our inventory. All right, uh, you wanna buy rotten flesh? You sure it's it's you know you can sell. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, what do we got here? We got a battery bank now. Uh, was that two or one? That was two. So we got a ba battery bank. Um, sinks. I think we can make those later. No big deal. Other boots. Nah. Electric fen fence post. This is the kind of stuff I mean we can make later on. I want to get an electric fence around the base too. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but I think we can make that. Storage pocket. That's always nice to have. It's only carrying capacity one. But still it's one more. Shotgun choke. Tightens the shotgun spread. I'm a bad shot so let's not do that. Claw hammer would be nice. Um, but I think we're probably okay. Actually let's sell him this too. Um, no. Great doing business with yeah, you too, buddy. You ready. too. Now, I forgot what you got working down here. You got, I think you've got almost everything but the, yeah, we don't have a cement mixer going. That's destroyed. Wait, is this destroyed? Yeah. So we've got a workbench and a still in here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I should probably be, um, we should have did this before, but, uh, let's go, uh, save waypoint. We're going to go, what do we do for trader? We did this one. We're going to go T and workbench and S for still. Save the waypoint just so we know what we got there. So now go searching for it. All right, uh, let's drop this stuff off and then we're going to head over and start working on the new base. All right, guys, so let's get over here and work on this base a little bit. Um, yeah, so... We want to look at what we got on the outside here first. Let's not do any of this stuff. Uh, so we've got flagstone, we've got concrete, metal sheets. I think these are really thin because I can see through them here. So to work on that area, this looks pretty good. It's like metal upgraded here. And then we got some thinner metal sheets on this side, which we'll need to work on. Uh, this actually doesn't look too bad. Metal frames, metal sheets. Tower's not that bad. This area definitely I want to work on. This is definitely a, an area I think that the zombies will want to smash through. Uh, probably here too, that's nice and thin. This looks like metal, some flagstone. Once again, let's fix this up all along here most likely. And I think this whole back will need to be done. Yeah, this is all wood out here. Wood and metal sheets, once they smash this down, this whole thing will collapse. And then this part right here too. We got flagstone down to one side, which is good. So that's a good start. Let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, let's grab our frames out. I'm going to go inside first, I think. Uh, let's go around front. I'm going to go inside first, see what we can fill in hole-wise on the inside, and then whatever we need to put on the outside, we'll do that. So let's get up here. Make sure the zombies can't get in. Um, yeah, so let's start here. Now I'm not going to upgrade any of these blocks. We gotta go at least two high. If we can get three, that's great. Because zombies, we all know zombies will jump on each other's back. So let's do this. Right? Can we get that corner? No. This is all part of this tower, it looks like. So let's knock out the legs. I think these bent metal sheets are gonna have to go too. I don't think they're gonna allow us to put blocks. Oh, that one will. That one will. Okay, perfect. What about this one? No. So it looks like we need to get rid of that bent metal sheet. So let's do that. I hope that's all it is. Yeah, it was a sheet on the inside. Okay. There we go. All right, that's that side done. Now these are metal bars. We got barbed wire on the outside. This is all good. Yeah, this isn't going to cut it. 
So let's put some of this in here. This is not going to cut it. Let's take the table out. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's put these in here. Now we'll upgrade all these at some point, but right not right now. Let's take this out. I really hope this metal, those metal sheets don't fall. Okay, good. Let's just go one at a time here. Then I think we'll put blocks across the top. I want to put a gang plank up there too, so I can see out and down. I got a feeling that this is going to cause problems. Let's do this first. Three. That's kind of our way in. So let's leave that for now. Oh, this is wood. It's behind that barrel though. I'm going to leave this here for now. Most likely I'll take it out. I'm going to change it all up to spotlights and stuff. Uh, okay, so let's... This is probably a... Sh oh, that's just a... Oh. No, 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 no. Not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Come on, game. Read my mind. Okay. Uh, how much of this can we get filled in? we got to do the same thing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we bought this iron pickaxe. Makes things so much easier. All right, I think we need to break out one of these guys up here. Yeah. This is probably on the inside. Let's take that down. And we'll probably need to take this one off here too. So let's do that now. Okay. Yep. And yep. And then we need to take out the wood frames here. Okay. Good thing I got... Um... Thank you, Dad. Popsicles. You're welcome. My child thanking me for buying them popsicles yesterday when they were sleeping. They've had this... They've been on this crave, popsicle crave for the past little while. And I was out... We were out last night in Toronto meeting up with some friends and stuff. And uh, we we're on our way back. And I'm like, we were had to stop off at a drugstore to pick up some stuff. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they would want some uh, popsicles. But they were sleeping already, so they did not answer, so I just got them anyway. Just got them anyway. Okay, let's just fill this in. That's probably good. And then let's take out, I think it's this sheet here. Let's take this one out. We can fill this in. Hope these metal bits don't fall. Okay. Alright, now we got to work on this part. That ladder's got to come out, I think. Let's take that out. We can put that on the inside. Um, doesn't need to be there. We, you know, there's like a ladder that goes up here anyway, so we can work on putting up a uh, ramp or a uh, extension across here that we can just get off at. Get this done. I think those sheets, though, that are on the left there are on the inside. It looks like they're on the inside here. So I don't think we're going to be able to... Oh, we can. I was 100% wrong. Okay. Now these guys, though, have to go. I hate to see all these metal sheets go, because the extra 300 um, defense is kind of nice, but I'd rather have the flags on that we can upgrade to reinforce concrete. Obviously a better choice, so let's do this. It's going to take a while before we get that up upgraded. Put one in there. One in there. One in there. Can we get some here? We can. What about here? And for some reason, they won't fit in there. I, you know what it is? Is These sheets are on the inside, because there's a spike out there. So we'll take these out first. Clear the spike out. Or we'll leave the spike in, I guess. And then we'll do this. And we'll take these sheets. Well, maybe, you know what? We can leave the sheets there. I think we just break these out. Because these are only 300. If we got enough time today, we're gonna have to hit up a lot of wood. Um, we'll hit up a lot of wood and then um, make some spikes for outside. Okay, there's that and that. Now we got one in the center there already, right? We got one. No, we didn't get one in the center. There's a, still a frame in there, so we're gonna have to go outside to do that. But we'll be checking the outside in, in a bit anyway. Okay. That's that done. Got all that done. We can upgrade that. Uh, this part now. 
What are we going to do here? Let's do that and that for now. And then I think this is going to be the case of having to build a wall on the outside here. I'm thinking that's going to have to be the case. Otherwise, we have to take out too much of the sh reinforcing shiz here. I, I don't want to do that. And it's the same with this side, yeah. we got to take all these plates out at that point. But we're going to use these plates as... Ooh, zombie out there. As a backup. So let's go outside. Take care of that zombie. Woohoo! Don't fall on the spikes. Yeah, that's the piece I want to remove here. It's only got 300. Flagstone blocks, we got 500, so... It's a little better. And we're going to have to do this on the outside, I think. Let's go kill that zombie first. Where are you? Oh, there's a couple of you. Straggling over from the city, I see. One down. No, 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 not my walls. Yeah, I wonder, you wonder why everyone in here is gone. The way these guys are operating. All right. Going to go all the way along here, one out. And, you know, at some point, we'll, you know, add extra pieces in here for extra defense. But right now, let's just get the outside wall done. I hope we have enough cobble for this. I think we do. The great thing about this, though, is this flagstone is so easy to make early on. Like one rock, well, four rocks and four clay gets you one of these full blocks. So you can make a whole ton of it really easy. And this does not look, oh, okay. Can we not get any more in there? Just the one? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It could go there. Uh, it, for sure it said it could go there. Oh, it's, oh, it's a red. It's because these things are sticking out. And I can't go. I have to go out one more. Well, that's not optimal, is it? What's up, guy? I was hoping to get three high on this side. I don't know if that's going to happen now, though. I may have to go make some more cobble. Actually, I got cobble on me. I was hoping to save it to upgrade some of these. What's up, you two? Welcome to the fight. Come on, get up. There you are. Nice try. Thanks for coming out. Oh, I almost made it up there. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. Okay. Almost got too high, which is good. Short of a, uh... A group of zombies knowing that I'm in here trying to get in. This should hold them. Now let's see if we can, how much more we can get around the outside. I like to make sure these are all at least three high. That'll give us something to walk on. And I think what we should do while we're here is let's get out our um, nail gun. Sure. Let's get all this upgraded. I don't think those will matter, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, we might just have enough. If not, we'll be really close. So this wood, I mean, we're only adding 225. But, you know, anything to wood is better. Upgrade it as much as you can. I could go to iron right now, but I want to save my iron. I want to get um, forged iron spikes going kind of as soon as possible. I don't know if we're going to uh, 
Like this base is pretty darn big. It's about as well. It's smaller than the last one we had though. That church was pretty huge, like the outside wall. The only difference between that one and this one is that the outside wall of the church, there was a big gap between that and our base. This is gonna be all our base. So with that being said, uh, the zombies will be hearing us a lot easier because we'll be just behind the walls here. Out of wood, huh? Yeah, it figures. All right, so we have, need what? Two more cobblestone blocks. Two more flagstone, that is. Let's get that made. Go chop some wood. Okay. It's just a couple things. We don't really need these top two done. Uh, all right, so that's that done. How much can we... 812, eh? Let's do this. Yeah, because see, you know, when you apply nails to cobblestone, it turns them into bricks. Just in case you didn't know that, now you do. So, we want to make sure... Like, uh, really going to have to be spikes, I think. We're really going to have to fill up the outside of this base with spikes. See, my fear... the uh, With the other base that we had, with the church on the inside is that if they came through the wall, right, like, like let's say they broke through the wall, then, and it was a wandering horde, most likely they're not heading to the base, right? They're just kind of wandering around. So they don't really care about the base all that much. Whereas here, like, so they won't break into it. Plus I'm up higher, it's harder to break into, right? But here, if a wandering horde comes through the wall, you know, they've got full access to everything in my base. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is elevating everything off the ground. So this is on stilts. I'll reinforce these, you know, reinforce the bottom here, take everything out, make it only accessible from the top, have like a ladder up that goes up here, and we'll just make like, you know, a top-down sort of gang plank where we can just see down and see here, put some uh, uh, bars around the outside, some holes so we can throw Molotovs down. So if the zombies do manage to get in here for whatever reason, um, then, you know, they're looking at having to, to uh, um, deal with me while I'm up high. They're going to have a really hard time uh, getting me on the ground. All right, so let's fill this in. Just going to do the first two, like I said. It's really wandering hordes we're worried about right now. Now, this is all protected, but this is not that protected. I know there's blocks on the other side we have to do still, but they've got iron protecting them. That's got iron protecting it. Uh, this, I think, needs to be done. Okay. And that's about it. Like, we have extra protection here, so I'm not really worried. I mean, they'll break through no matter what you do, right? Okay, that being done, let's go start, uh, let's get a land claim block going. Uh, let's craft this. Now I have to decide, I want to try and put it more on this side to keep that house over there safe, but I'll probably put it back in the corner like here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Because the trader's pretty safe by himself, right? So I don't have to worry about the trader. So if I put it up in the front corner... Right? It's going to include part of the trader's house, and I don't really want that, because there's going to be no zombies spawning there anyway. I'll start off, I think, like I said, by putting it in this back corner. Let's fix that. Uh, we'll put it in this back corner. Um, what had damage to it? There was something with damage. Where? It was like right here. Wait, what's this? Reinforced concrete. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, land claim block. Here we go. So we've got a total of 71 blocks with this thing. Alright. It's active. Let's have a look outside. I mean, we've got a really big area that I don't have to worry about. 
Yeah, so we got right to the edge of here. Oh, that's perfect. That turned out perfect. Why is it... That's not 71, is it? Maybe. But it doesn't give us the house, does it? It gives us part of the house. That's the biggest land area I think this block can have. It doesn't give us any of the house. Well, can't have everything, I guess. Alright, so let's look at moving our stuff over then. We're pretty secure now, I think, in that base. It's protected by the land claim block. We're going to leave our bedroll here. Uh, that should keep this house clear. We don't have to worry about zombies spawning in this house. Uh, and at some point we'll want to update this house as a backup base. Uh, let's grab all the foodstuffs first. Except for that. Uh, and we'll head over there. You know what, I'll come back when I've got everything moved into the new place. And show you kind of what I'm thinking. Alright guys, well... We got everything taken out of the house, and just as I got back outside, we got ourselves a wandering horde. Again. But that's fine. Let's just deal with these guys at the bat. Oh, I'm thirsty and hungry. I don't have any food on me. Alright, we deal with these guys with an empty stomach. What's up, buddy? Let's get some of you coming over here. All these tweakers, man. Look at them all. Makes them so hard to hit. Deal with these guys with the bow if we can. Are you dead? You're dead. You are dead! Nice. Come on, buddy. Well, you know I'm here. Come on, Tweaky. Move it. I got house stuff to build. Maybe we get a level out of this. I don't know. Another one. Look at them all. They're all like tweakers, too. Come on, guy. Let's get this shiz done. Alright. Some of these arrows back. What, you're not dead? Want some more? There you go. He just wanted a little more. He's like, I haven't had quite enough yet. There you go. Get some. Get some. Come on, guys. Where would that came from? Here it comes. And one more for you. And one more for you. And one more for you. You guys are being hogs. He wasn't much as a hog as this guy is. It's so hard to hit when they shake like that. It's crazy. Now I got some of the arrows back anyway. Alright. Thank you, buddy. Let's get inside, get some food. I dropped like everything off in here. Okay, we need to go. There's an airdrop in town. We'll get that tomorrow. How far away is that? Okay, that's not that bad. You know what, we'll check for quests tomorrow, and um, we'll go do that. But right now, let's get inside here. I'll organize these lockers tonight, the storage here. I've just been dropping everything in, just so it's out of my inventory. Oh, I'll need these. Um, going to have to make some more arrows. So let's put some stuff back that I'm going to need. I'll take you and you and you. I uh, don't need that, but let's get some food. Where's my food? You and you. 
Use that. Use that. Feeling a little better now. Not so peckish. All right, let's go have a look at the outside. Uh, oh, wait. Um, where are my cooking pot and grill? There's the grill and there's the cooking pot. Cool. Did not forget to bring them. All right, so we're going to just drop them in here. And what I want to do, I've been thinking about it, is we're going to break these out. One, two, three. Now we're going to go across here. Whoa. Lag. Oh, right. That letter. I think the letter actually sticks out. Yeah, it occupies like a whole, yeah, a whole space. It does. Certainly does. Okay. So we're going to just start by getting this going. This is going to be our central defense, this tower. I'm going to upgrade all of these legs from wood to iron um, once we get enough iron going. Just want to get these frames laid out. It's a good thing we got the frames. Frame. Frame. Yep. And yep. And yep. And then we'll break out. Actually. I don't know if these got support. Do they have support? What's considered support? Um. Hmm. Don't know what's considered support. If the ladder above it is broken, will they all break? That's the question. I have no idea. Uh, we want to get a hatch on here. Um, do that in a minute. If I don't know, like I said, what is considered support? Like, do I have to have? Probably. Like, I think I would want to have stuff the ladder that's attached to, because if they break it, I don't want the whole ladder breaking. Which means we're going to have to bust out, like, we'll see here in a second. Oh, the ladder didn't break. Oh, that's fine then. I mean, we're not going to do it all the way up. We'll just do it. I just took out my frame. God damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I can just drop these two in here. And we'll upgrade those. We'll upgrade them to iron. We might do the same all the way up on all. Like, I may just, like... Like, I don't know. Maybe we'll fill all this in. Have that the defensive tower. I never did check and see if I had um, water in there. How many do I need? Six, maybe? All right, let's go up there and see. Oh, we only need four. And, oh. This is a hole and it is empty. No water. Well, I mean, I guess we can go get water. I need a lot of buckets for that, though. Ah, whatever. It's just easier to get snow, but it'd be nice to have, like, as an aesthetic. Maybe we do... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I might put a bit of water in there. Just to have a good aesthetic. I don't like this feeling of coming down like that. Okay, where is our... I think I put it in here. Uh, yeah. Nail gun. We got a lot of wood. I'll take the stone out too for now. Let's get our nail gun down here. I want to go along and nail in this stuff. At least one all the way around. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I kind of find the hammer faster. The hammer just feels faster. Oops. There we go. Nice. Just make the ladder a little sturdier. Gonna have to put a trap door in there too, I think, at some point, but right now I don't have to. Ah, uh, of course, now that I said that, I probably should go do it. If they get in here and see, is this a way to get to me? Let's just do this. A little bit of a defense, anyway. All right, let's get a hatch on here. All right, hatch. Can we make a metal one? Do we have enough? We don't have enough. Nope, but we'll put a wood one up for now. We can upgrade it later. Okay, and let's have it open. We can't get one there we take, unless we take the ladder out. Okay, let's have it open that way. Yeah, I don't have enough iron. Okay. That's probably good enough. And then maybe what we do... We'll, you know, we'll make those bars along here. Uh, let's make this upgraded. Um, like that. And then let's knock out... I'm just thinking about escape routes. Knock this out, and then we can put in some of these. Right, now we can get over to here. We can get on there, no problem. Just jump over. Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I want to break all this out and make it all concrete, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bother upgrading it right now. Um... I think it needs to be concrete now, but what about down here? I was talking about the pillars. Let's do this. Get these upgraded a little bit. I, I mean, I like I said, I don't know if they're going to break in here or not. But if they do, I just want to make sure that we're okay here. This is already metal. That looks like it's metal too. Yeah, it's metal. Let's just do this. I need to break out all the garbage and stuff, but it's nice. And it's like a half decent aesthetic. Actually, you know what? This is going to be cobble too. I won't upgrade that anymore because we want to make cobblestone pillars, like our concrete pillars here. I'm thinking since we got this, let's hit this open before the end of the episode. We got what an hour before the end of the episode. I don't know that. Like, if the base gets attacked, like, I'm almost want to open this door and let these guys hit these mines up and die. But then that just means that they'll be able to um, damage the walls and stuff even more. Alright, out of stamina. I kind of like the look of this, like the layout of this camp. It's kind of nice. So we're probably going to try and keep it as like close to the original as possible, but just upgrade it. Like I said, we're going to paint it all too. So it'll look all rustic and worn out and stuff while being ridiculously strong at the same time. All right, what do we get in here? Nothing. They ran out of ammo too. No wonder they died. Um, okay, let's just get up here. I think I'll end the episode a little early today. Um, we're going to knock all these floors out. We checked this stuff. We didn't check the lockers. Oh, that's got all our... Yeah, right. I forgot all about that. Um, we're going to knock all this stuff out. And then... Um, upgrade all this to cobble. I don't know if I'll do that tonight. I'll wrench the bed apart. Uh, yeah, wrench the bed apart. Um, Trader Joel is closing in a few minutes. Let's go upgrade this post before I forget. Oops. Right click, don't left click. Left click, you shoot a nail. 
And I just wasted I wasted a nail. Come on. Really? Okay. I'll get my storage sorted out too, because we really gotta sort this. Did I did I for I wonder if the cooking pot didn't take in here. It did. Okay. Sure, man. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Let's end the episode with Trader Joel's closing. Sounds fitting. We're down low on wood. We only got 300 and something. I'll get my storage organized here. Um, I'll work on... I don't know. How much cobble do we have left? We still had a bit left, didn't we? Ten. Wow. Whole ten cobblestone rocks. Uh, well, I can make some, though. Um, and I'll try and get this at least floor upstate, upgraded to flagstone. Um, yeah, so that'll be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments or, or questions in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.